Hi everyone, I miss seeing you around our campuses and so look forward to saying hi here remotely each week. You know, I expect you're starting to find a new normal, even as I'm sure you too miss seeing family, friends and colleagues and students in real life, rather than on Zoom or FaceTime. These steps we're taking together are helping protect our healthcare and workers and system and helping to save lives as we continue to contribute to the flattening of the curve, as Dr. Bonnie Henry calls it. As we've heard, these next two weeks will be crucial. So thank you for all your continued commitment. Today, I want to touch on three things, our teaching and learning center and a few of their recent amazing accomplishments an advance notice of financial support coming out for students who need emergency funding, and creative approaches to remote learning and a fun example. Let me start with LTC. Our LTC was pivotal in transitioning BCIT to remote learning in just a few short days recently, and I can't thank them enough. Here's a few quick facts about their remarkable work. In the first two weeks of our unplanned remote transition, LTC logged over 2,000 requests for assistance with a 97% resolution rate. They also developed an online peer tutoring course supporting 67 tutors and 29,000 students. As you know, if you're faculty, they hosted virtual classroom familiarization sessions and additional assistance as needed. And all to say this was accomplished with the incredible support of the ITS team who've been tireless working behind the scenes as well. And as if that wasn't enough, they also updated and launched three versions of Indigenous Awareness course for our staff, students, and our external community in the midst of COVID-19 chaos. So we're all so grateful for your patience and your support, and please give yourselves a pat on the back. I also have some good news uh, for BCIT students who are, have been hit hardest financially by COVID-19. The province has recently provided emergency funding, which will be supplemented substantially, I'm pleased to announce, by the BCIT Foundation, thanks to the generosity of donors who are reaching out to support our students in such a difficult time. Information on eligibility and how to apply will be available next week, so stay tuned. Our thanks to the province and donors to the BCIT Foundation for helping students continue their educational journeys despite some tremendous current challenges they're facing. I know many of you are going above and beyond to support our students and colleagues in various ways, and I thank you all for your kindness and compassion. We need that for sure to survive this change. When we reconvene, I'd love to hear more of the myriad of creative things you're doing now in the virtual classroom and workplaces. Remote learning has a lot of obvious advantages right now, but it also has challenges, including the loss of personal connections and at times creativity. This is something we're all experiencing in our professional and our personal interactions. Today, I'll share just one example of how we can continue to embrace innovation, a core value even during these extraordinary times. Mike Lowe is a faculty member in our telecommunications system technician program who has worked in industry like many of you, and even better, like many of you, he's a BCIT grad. Mike helps prepare for students for employment in the telecommunications installation industry where our graduates are very much in demand. You'll see Mike's enthusiasm and knowledge in the video example linked in the notes to this video. I hope you'll take time to watch it. Thanks, Mike, for all you do and for going that extra mile to give our students exceptional learning experience that BCIT is known for, regardless of ongoing challenges. We will continue to share your success stories and COVID-19 updates on our website and through other channels, including videos in the coming week. In the meantime, stay safe, everyone, and take care. Thank you for all you're doing each and every day, and enjoy your weekend.